Alright, hey guys, I'm going to be bringing y'all a video based on some real cool information. And what we've got sitting here is a bunch of wind turbine blades. We have an old wind turbine. We have these new blades. And we have some old ones to kind of show you why you've got to change your ways. So, look at this stuff here. Uh, and I'm going to show you here, just for the life of it. we got about 30 to 33 mile an hour winds right now. And I'm going to show you right now. There is my 800 watt turbine. So you guys out there thinking you're buying a 15, 18, 16, 19, 2,000, 25,000 watt turbine that only weighs 10 pounds, you're, you're screwed. This one weighs almost 70. And there it is, 800 watt turbine. 1,300 watt peak you saw right in front of your face. There's my 500 watt turbine, right there. Look at this one, 1,000, 1, 1,161, 1,200, 1,400, 1,500. Oh, wires are getting very warm against my hand. So you look at that, that's, that's your game. There's my little chaos turbine right there. 1151 watts. That's a thermodyne turbine. All these different turbines, wind turbines, professional made stuff. I'll put a link below the video to all of it. Go down there, look below the video. If you got a cell phone, you got a little button looking arrow thing, push that and it'll show you too. Or a tablet or whatever the hell you people use. All right, so sitting here is a HYE. That's high energy wind turbine, H-Y-E, energy, um, <laughs> out of Guangzhou, China. Now, way back when, that was one of the best turbines you physically could buy. Sunning, high energy, they took the cake. Everybody else had to step back. So here you go right here. High energy, right there, all right? This is a 2013 model. Sitting on my, uh, on a pole in my backyard is a 2000. I guess you could say 11 model. It's been, it's still running today with its original blades. And we're going to show you why I'm making this video about these blades. I want you to look at these blades. You see these numbers. Carefully look at these numbers. Now that's grams. This is the heaviest one being basically about three to four grams out of whack of the lightest one. Here is the scale that was used. Okay, the same scale weighed those blades sitting over there. We're not going to go to that because that's a litigious asshole who sues everybody who reports his real activities. So we're not going to go there. We're just going to give you some definitions. So if you're a drug dealer, you know what this is. If you're uh, probably out of the Midwest, you probably know what it is anyhow. So we're going to get over here and we're going to look. And I'm going to show you here. This is a five blade high energy with dynamic braking style blades. That's what these are. So if you look below the video, I'll put the low wind versions of the turbines I've got. <laughs> I don't need them. Um, you just seen, what, 1400 watts out of an 800 watt turbine, and it's done it a dozen times. It doesn't fail. They've got big monster bearings in them damn things. They will not fail. They don't have a little car bearing in them from an alternator. Trust me, if you got a 17 by 40, you're, you know. All right, so this ass clown that makes this junk got involved with these people. When he got involved with these people, he said, hey man, if you'll just make your blades like I do out of toy plastic, people are stupid and they'll buy them. Uh, people have the emails to this. So uh, they go like, oh yeah, we do that. All right, so they did, and they made the blades out of this crap. This crap that looks like, let me get a close up, Gouda freaking cheese, man. So I mean, that's what your toy plastics look like if you have them in bulk. So this company, this 2013, and yes, I smoke Swisher Sweets. Look at them pretty fingers. So um, this Gouda, Gouda cheese made blade blew all apart because not only are they impossible to balance as a compression plastic, they blow apart because they have no structural strength in the cold. All right? Same way with these blow apart pieces of crap. Now, if you own something that kind of looks like these toy plastic blades and you want to replace it here's your option not only is it better built it's built out of the same materials these are okay it's weighed very accurately when it's packaged and the company b and c below the video below the video are the ones that carry them and they carry the replacement hubs and their hubs will fit on your alternator jobbed turbines Okay, so get back over here. 
So if you have a car alternator, PMA, you know, like my Thermodyne. My Thermodyne kicks ass. Look up there. Look at all these blades. That's Thermodyne. That's Windy Nation out of business. That's Thermodyne. That's Thermodyne. I install a lot of Thermodyne. People move up to a higher, you know, to five blade or something. I keep the old ones. All right, so here we go. Now, you'll look at this, how this broke apart. This nice, big, beautiful, well-casted, machined hub come from this company, High Energy. Now, High Energy still sells wind turbines, but they run like hell once you get them in the mail. Not this company. That company, get on the damn chat, boom, they're on it, quick. I got a guy that down, down inside of uh, in uh, Utah, he says he got his blades, he got one blade that was nine grams. Now, now watch it, we're not done here. Nine grams out of whack with the rest of the blades. And I said, does it have any cast blast? He goes, no. Well, then you got a bad blade, nine grams. Now, these blades over here, this is just from one batch. 457 grams, 486 grams, 501 grams. And this guy's bitching about nine grams. These people that buy these, they just like suck it up, buttercup. You know what I mean? That's what they do because they ain't going to get their money back. But with these people here, I have never had a problem. The way I mount these is I'll take my 728, that one there, and I'll offset that with two lighter ones in between it. So we'll look at, say, this one and this one as two blades and that one in the middle. So it works out perfect. And they recommend that. Now, one of the things you guys probably don't know is that a lot of these dealers that you'll see on AliExpress, not eBay, um, not Amazon, they order their parts. They'll order their PMA, they'll order their body, they'll order their coupling style, you know, whether it's this kind or a flange, they'll order their tail, they'll order their parts. And then they have a little shop with five or six guys working in it, sometimes 10 if they're real busy. I think BNC's got like 18 people. And then what they do is they put them all together. So if you get a wind turbine that, uh, that says 2,800 watts, go look at the date of how long that little company's been around. I guarantee it's, it's like yesterday. So they'll take these parts and they'll put them all together. So they'll spec out this, they'll spec out this, they'll spec out the plate, they'll spec out shaft size, all that. Then you'll have another company that specs out all that, but they'll put a 100-watt PMA that only can produce 100 watts in their system. And then what you get is you get something labeled a 500-watt, but it won't produce it. It looks the same, and you see the picture, and you go online, and you go, hey, oh, that's that one old, uh, what's his name in Idaho's guy? I'm going to click on that. It's only $110. And you just didn't realize that you should have put the extra thing in the cart. That's a big, huge can of Vaseline because you just got it. They just got you. So what you've got when you're ordering something from China, I want to listen, I want you to listen carefully, is you've got grades, different grades and different assemblers. So these Chinese sellers like that's on AliExpress, it's the reason I like dealing with them, is their difference is, is that when this company orders, they weigh out all their blades and then box them. 10 grams, that's their variable difference. Most of the time, hell, that's fine. In fact, that guy complained about nine grams. I don't know. I would have I would have put them up, and I've been doing it 10 years. I just would have done a double washer on one of my mounts. You know, opposite. So it would have been no problem. But these are the blades that you can get to replace these. If you choose to uh, make your own hubs, you can. They'll sell you a hub and a sleeve to go on your 17 or 16 millimeter shafts or your, in this one's case, 22 millimeter tapered shaft. They'll sell you those items. You just contact them. Go to the link below, boom, go up to their name, their seller name, click on there. It'll give you like their main page, contact. Tell them what you want. You're going to be shocked. They can make it or they'll find it. So I just want to give you guys an idea how it works. When they order their parts, Company A orders a 300-watt PMA, calls it a 500. Company B orders a 100-watt PMA. It's got gaps on the magnets. that freaking big. There's no tolerance. They call it a 500. Company C, they order one that's a 500-watt or a 600-watt because they like to get that feedback. They get that. 
Now you look on company A, they got feedback, five stars or set four point five stars, and it's a hundred people buying it. And then you look at the other one, and it's like, yeah, we got it, we received it in the mail, and they give them five stars because they're pressured. Y'all been on eBay, you know, they're pressured into doing that. Okay, so when you're pressured into doing it, what do you do? You get on there and get rid of them by going, yeah, five stars, yeah, great, I got it, all good. Well, you'll never get an email from these people saying, hey, hurry up, give us five stars. They don't bother you. That's why I deal with them. So you got a few good companies, Green Energy, BNC, Sunning. In fact, BNC and Green Energy both now sell Sunning. They're badass turbines. And they put per spec in your product. So when you buy one, you've seen that 1,400 watts out of an 800 watts because they really, they really put a 1,200 watt PMA on it. <laughs> That's what they did. And expect that. And you've seen that big in my other videos. Go look at the other videos. I'll put some crappy links everywhere. Um, you'll see why. But there you go. Right there. Careful what you buy. You never know who's involved. And if you need to replace some of them crappy toy blades, there's your option. It is the same hole pattern. Same hole pattern. I'm not going to pull the tape off because it's a litigious asshole. Um, hopefully he digs his hole in the ground soon. And otherwise, these are the best blades you can get for the money. You're going to get your quality. These are NS6. This is some kind of a PET PVC mix, or as I call it, freaking Gouda cheese. Look at that crap. These things here would twist apart before they could be broken. And you're going to beat the hell out of them to get there. They're, these are for any turbine any turbine and these are 850 millimeter you can buy them in every length you know it all right and if you want to know how exactly these will properly mount and this turbine hub is a little different from most you see that notch you see that okay generally with a high energy they want to be different but if you have a first wind or if you have a uh, a sunning or if you have um, a B and C or a green energy, it'll fit it. So, uh, and, it, and if you want to make your own hub, like I was showing earlier, it'll, you can make it fit. So you'll see here, there it is. You'll tighten those down. The, the only difference is, is that when you have these on here, you're going to tighten it down and then you're looking at about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch that you're going to have to take off on this one right here so you'll run your drill up below through the hole here and you'll run it up into there and just kind of let the fluid of the drill eat the plastic away a little bit so these being nx6 it's not going to hurt it you're just going to put your washer on just like the rest of these are done and mount your blade you ain't got to worry about these things coming apart because uh they didn't have no fool involved in their design all right, guys, y'all be good. Any questions, post below all your links for everything. Best things I can find, there they are, right below the video.